Hello viewers, <clears throat> welcome back to another episode of Super Dragonfly Chronicles. This is Red Eye speaking. And also for any new viewers, welcome to the AO Gaming channel. So today I'm going to go over the uh, collectibles, everything I got in the game from the notes to the concept art and the biographies. So let's start with the notes. Keep in mind with these, I'm not personally going to read every single one of them aloud. I'll just be quiet while I'm reading. But if I'm going too fast, you can always slow the video down and read them by yourselves. And then after the notes, we'll go into the concept art. So for now, let's get to this. So these notes are by uh, Mark's father. I just finished reading the first one quietly. Uh, essentially, these take place narratively before uh, the events of uh, the game itself, basically, with what I just played through with Mark. So obviously, they received this technology from this race of beings known only as they, and they gave them the power of the dragonflies. I would assume they are obviously a species of the dragonflies. Hopefully in the next game, the creator can give them a better name, as opposed to just being called they. Anyway, note two. All right, moving on. All right, note four. Now uh, the part with we are titans. That's when they started obviously feeling like they were gods almost. And it appears from that second paragraph that it was changing their personalities slightly. Yeah, it's getting big all right. It's starting to fall apart. <laughs> all right, note five.
Yeah, I think those creatures called they, or whatever, were uh, using them. And probably, I'm sure, uh, observing some of this from afar to see what would happen. All right, note six. So David definitely let the power go to his head, and that's why he ended up turning out to be the bad guy in this whole story so far. I almost think that the creatures knew that they could give them this technology and hoped that one of them would become corrupt, probably destroy the other, and then uh, spread this technology and this virus or whatever of the dragonflies to the human race it's probably the at least with these unknown aliens their attempt at trying to control uh, the world and spread this across the galaxy I would assume anyway let's move on to note 7 Okay, so that basically is leading to the setup where Mark eventually receives the suit. All right, last note. Okay, so that's the end of that. Let's move on now to the concept art. So it looks like that's, I'd say, an early model of uh, Mark's suit. Looks like. A little bit of sketches there of Mark. Oh, some sketches of Cammy. I like those. <laughs> Anyway, number four, another sketch, only with a little bit of color added. Although he doesn't have those weird leg things on his shoulders sticking out, so they, these are obviously early prototypes of his suit. And I believe that's a sketch of David Park. It looks like him. I don't think it's Mark's father, uh, Michael West. Oh, that's a pretty cool sketch there. Looks like something out of a comic book. Nice. And an image of one of those dragonflies. And then an image of Mark going Super Saiyan. Because <laughs> he had that green stuff uh, surrounding his body that he was able to use and stuff. For those of you that watched the episode before this with the finale... Anyway, all right, moving on to the last part here, the biographies. So, bio number one. Okay, bio number two. Uh, 
I will say one thing, if there is a second game made, I almost feel like, and maybe this would be too much for the uh, creator of the series, but I think it would be kind of cool to maybe implement something where you can play as Mark, but maybe also have some levels where you play as uh, Cammy, just to give the game a different feel, and maybe have both of them working towards the common goal of trying to destroy the imminent front. I don't know. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Obviously, the creator of the game can do whatever he wants, but just thought that might be a good idea, maybe. All right, third bile. Uh, David Park. And David's uh, second form here. You can see why now I held off with showing some of this, because it would have kind of spoiled uh, some of what you would see later on in the game. Okay, and then this gives some information about the Dragonfly's technology. All right. Bow number six. So this is just the name of the government agency or facility. All right, then the bio number seven I've mentioned many times in the past few episodes of how hard it is to get this one in episode 7. <laughs> yep, we still don't know all of Michael's plans, but he definitely seems to be, I'd say, on the side of his son. I don't think he's working against him. Because if he was, he would have been fighting with David, obviously. Or fighting alongside David. Anyway, the last one. So we get a vague image of what these creatures are. The ones responsible for giving the uh, Michael and David the dragonflies. Well, I hope they appear in the next game so we can learn more about them. All right, viewers. Well, that about does it. If any of you are interested in seeing the cutscenes, uh, obviously just watch my videos. I cover one cutscene in the very first one that's not included in this listing. That's sort of like a prologue cutscene. Then this one, of course, is from episode one. So yeah, you can see each one. Also make sure you're, if you're going to watch all of the cutscenes to the game, you watch the videos from the beginning and towards the end for the ending cutscene. Some levels, like the flying missions, the cutscenes for those at the start are actually at the end of the previous episode. So like for example, with the third episode, the cutscene that would have been the beginning of that is actually the ending of episode 2. So if you want to see that, for example. Uh, same with episode 7. So this one right here would have been at the end of episode 6. 
Uh, he doesn't play at the beginning of Episode 7, but this leads into Episode 7. This is essentially the cutscene for that. Anyway, just a little advice there for those of you interested. So now I'm going to take a little break, and I'm going to consider doing eventually the boss rush uh, episode. And obviously if I do that, I'm not going to show all of my failed attempts, because it is pretty hard. If I post the video of the boss rush, it will be in its, in its entirety from start to finish, meaning that I will have played from the beginning and to the end and beat it. And I'll show all of you eventually how to do that if you're trying to beat uh, the boss rush in the game. All right, viewers, well, thank you for tuning in. I've enjoyed doing this series for all of you, and I hope uh, you've enjoyed watching this series. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.